Hi, I'm Shane and welcome back to Snapseed Studio. Today I'm just going to process uh, an image uh, of my son Darcy and our little dog Henry. We shot this down the beach and um, I thought it was a really good image just to see how much more we could make it lift using Snapseed. So the first thing I do is I generally like to crop. This one here I'm actually going to move over to a little bit to the rule of third on the left. Um, I could put it centre but I feel that the direction that they're both looking needs a little bit more room. So I'll put that over there and it allows a bit of space. Don't need to do much more with regards to the cropping there. As normal, I jump into ambience and have a look and just flatten it out a little bit more, <coughs> reduce some of the contrast. And then I also like to have a look at some of the saturation as well. Not Again, not too much. I don't want it looking extreme. That's just too much, but enough just to make the colors look a little bit more fuller. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, from here, what I'm going to do is have a look at, um, I'm really, it's probably a good time just to chuck in my blur, which I normally put in, normally I do it at the end, but it's not going to matter that much. And again, you can use two fingers and you can spread that apart. And I might actually do a little bit of blur transition. So I don't mind Henry's legs being a little bit more blurry. I just don't want Darcy's head looking blurry. So... There we are straight away, it's starting to look really good. So the next step from here, what I'm probably gonna look at is the curves. Curves are really interesting because I can do a lot with them on an individual basis. Um, there are times that they come in really handy. So I'm gonna pull that out. I'm just a bit concerned that the shadow is probably a fraction too heavy, but I don't want, I don't want the bottom end or the middle the middle particularly looking too heavy so just whack a little bit in there just trying to pull it out there so that's looking a bit better so yeah i'm pretty happy with that and then i think i might just put a little vignette around the outside not too much just closes it in which i quite like gives a bit of character and i'm going to pull a little bit out on the subject itself so i think that that looks good so I could go in like for example on Darcy's face and I could add a little bit of extra tonal contrast into there <laughs> it did find a face in the end so you can see it's actually trying to do something with it so I don't think that I really need to do too much more. I don't actually like what that's done. It's added way too much density for me. So I'm going to pull that in. So what I could do instead is I could zoom in um, and actually probably try and apply a brush to that. Just reduce the exposure a little bit more on his face. Not too much. Now Henry's not too bad because he's already white, so that's okay. So give that an okay. So yeah, um, I think overall that image looks really good. Let's look at where it started, which was a nice image. We had a nice space, but now we've just given some richness into that image. So yeah, if you're looking for more Snapseed Studio videos, um, how to get the best out of your photos and bring them to life, please just visit um, snapseedstudio.com or shaneshrubbikimages.com. Um, and yeah, um, look forward to posting the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.